Welcome to this tutorial where I'll be showing you how to create incredible texture with buttercream painting and making these easy ice melt shards. So the first thing we're going to do is to paint our buttercream cake with buttercream. I'm using Swiss meringue buttercream and I want it to be at a very, very soft consistency. If your buttercream is quite firm, just pop it in the microwave for three to five seconds until it loosens in thickness, but you do not want it to be soupy or runny. Using a pastry brush, apply your soft consistency buttercream all over your chilled cake. To do this effect, it is best if the cake is cold and hard and your buttercream is really soft in texture. Also really important is to note how I am holding the brush. I am dabbing the buttercream with the bristles going straight onto the cake. I'm not brushing it back and forth. I'm not painting straight lines. I really am just dabbing it with the tips of the bristles. And yes, you can use a bristle pastry brush like this one, or you can use a silicon pastry brush as well. It does both work for this technique. This is a very simple and easy technique to do, but it gives the cake an incredible texture all over the cake. Once you've finished painting this texture all over your cake, we're going to move on to our next painted technique that is with our offset spatula. I'm just using some dark blue buttercream and blending it ever so slightly with my white buttercream. So with the buttercream on the very tip of the spatula, you can apply that onto your cake like so. I'm just going in with small dabs, like little, little petals, all around the bottom edge of the cake. Now this particular technique works better if the cake is at room temperature. I find that when you try and do this on a very cold cake, the oil painted effect doesn't come up as well. So remember, soft consistency buttercream applied onto a room temperature buttercream cake. Do this effect all around the base of the cake and you can do a few little dabs here and there as well as you go up high on the cake and this is what it will look like when it's finished. Next we're going to make some really easy and quick isomalt decorations. I have melted some isomalt nips in here and I've added some blue gel colouring. I've warmed this up in the microwave in a heat proof jug. I've got some non-stick baking parchment here and I'm just going to give it a little scrunch up. Now you do not have to do this but I want a crinkly effect on my isomalt decorations and so this is going to help me achieve that. You can also use a non-stick silicon heat proof baking mat. Now I've got my melted isomalt here, I'm just pouring some into the center of my baking parchment. You have to be really careful working with melted sugar of any kind because it is very, very hot. Do not allow any of it to come into contact with your skin. I'm using an offset spatula here just to spread out my isomalt so that it is evenly distributed all over my baking parchment. And now I'm just gonna give it a few little taps onto the surface of my table here, just so that everything evens out nicely. Now we're going to form our ice melt decorations. I'm just using a bowl for this particular one because I want more of a wave or a cupped shape in this decoration. And I'm going to use a few pegs just to peg portions of the baking paper together to create some waves and crinkles in my ice melt shard. Now you do not need to use a bowl, you can also just form it like this on a flat surface. You just crinkle two ends of the baking paper together and peg it together with a clothing peg or a bull clip and just move around the baking paper how you want to shape and crinkle the ice melt decorations. Now leave your isomalt decorations to one side, leave it for at least half an hour so that it can cool down and harden adequately. When the decorations have fully set, you can carefully remove it from the baking parchment and it should just come off just like this. You want to make a few different ice melt shards in different tones and use that to decorate the top of your cake. Because the ice melt shards have lots of sharp edges, it's really easy to insert them into your cake if the cake is not too cold or too hard. 
You can even break apart the decorations to get some smaller shards. And once all of your decorations are placed on your cake, I recommend piping some additional buttercream around the back portions of your shards just to reinforce the decorations and make sure that they don't tip over or fall over. And you can decorate the upper portions of the cake with candies, meringue kisses, sprinkles, just to fill it up and to give it a full luscious look. You can change the color theme of this cake design to any color theme you like. Doing it in blue gives it a very icy, maybe even frozen-like feel, but you can absolutely change up the colors of the buttercream and the colors of the ice melt decorations as well. So there you have it, how to paint on a cake with buttercream, creating different buttercream painted textures and ice melt shards. You can find all related tutorials and recipes for this cake in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial. I look forward to sharing more with you. So if you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any new content. Catch you next time.